Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here with a new style of video that I'm gonna try to do every month, maybe month and a half. And we're gonna look back at some of the recently released Steam games, but they have to be among the overwhelmingly positive categories. So their review threshold as far as positive reviews have to be at or above 95%. It's a very, very sacred and revered uh, slot to be in to have that overwhelmingly positive. I feel like it still means something to be overwhelmingly positive on Steam, and I know a lot of developers and publishers strive for that. Seems like these days, the biggest thing that does push people away from even very positive is a bad PC version and a bad port, server issues, things like that. Things that uh, hopefully can be ironed out, but... We've had some recent releases that have been overwhelmingly positive. Gonna go over 10 games, so let's get right into it. In early access right now, Ender Magnolia, Bloom in the Mist, is overwhelmingly positive. 2,168 reviews at 98% positive. This is set decades after the events of Ender Lily's Quietus of the Night. Homunculi, sorrowful artificial life forms roam the land in this dark fantasy Metroidvania face formidable enemies and explore a bewitching post-apocalyptic world. Humans and homunculi, what awaits at the end of the quest for their salvation? A little bit of a darker tone, Metroidvania. The first first one was really well received. The Metroidvania sector of gaming is just super hard to break out in uh, because there's so much competition and there's so many top level and elite level games. The action roguelite Metroidvania genre action RPG of this style. So much competition. Ender Magnolia and Ender Lilies does have this unique darker style to it that I do think uh, interests a lot of people. Nice to see Ender Magnolia be received as well and we'll see how it progresses in the early access period but it's available right now at $19.99. Next up, we're going from a 1999 title to a free game. Curiosity is available totally free, overwhelmingly positive. 818 reviews, a 98% positive across those reviews. People think battles need powerful weapons, but strategy at hand is key. The story follows a rookie adventurer and a new healer in a dungeon quest with the core gameplay involving hand-picked methods using weapons and items, fight or purify, heal or alter, the choice is yours. Uh, interesting art style to this, a little bit of a simplistic look, but it works for the style of game that it is. Again, available totally free, go check that out, overwhelmingly positive on that. Next up, Duelists of the Eden. If you're a fan of Mega Man Battle Network and that style of game, or if you're a fan of One Step from Eden, Duelists of Eden is certainly something that should be on your radar. Build a deck and battle online in real-time action with a netcode. Duelist of Eden is a card, a grid, a fighting game set after the events of One Step from Eden. Build your own custom deck and battle online in real-time action. There are over 14 characters with strengths and weaknesses to encourage creative spell combinations and synergies. Will you uh, combo slashes, fire, or even use bombs to eliminate your competition? Again, so reminiscent of the Mega Man Battle Network style of play. Obviously, this is much more faster paced and a little wilder and with the competitive aspect to it. Uh, adds another layer to it. 678 reviews, 96% positive on that, and just $4 and 99 cents as well so a good price point as far as that's concerned but check that out next up we have snuffkin melody of moomin valley quite the name for a game but a thousand and three reviews overwhelmingly positive at 98 percent positive join snuffkin in this musical adventure about restoring harmony and balance to moomin valley protecting it from the industrious park keeper. A little bit charming, a little bit comedic. Art style is great. A story-rich musical adventure game about Snufkin restoring the valley and helping the quirky, memorable characters and critters who call it home. A series of hideous pranks have cropped up in Moomin Valley, disrupting the landscape and its harmonious nature. As Snufkin, you'll distract police officers, pull out signs, and knock over misplaced statues as you vigorously try to restore nature and the inhabitants' home while putting an end to the industrious park keeper's plan. Experience a Beautifully crafted and quintessentially Nordic game brought to life with stories, emotions, and a melancholic atmosphere set in the vivid and beloved world of Moomin. You are invited to a wholesome experience for every age that combines open world mechanics with puzzles, stealth, and melodic elements. Again, overwhelmingly positive on this $19.99 price point out and now. Next up, Dune Imperium. Yes, the award-winning board game of strategy and intrigue in the iconic universe of Dune. The spice must flow. Uh, overwhelmingly positive, $13.75 reviews 96% positive on that end 
Raise your banner above the vast wasteland before you. Dude Imperium blends deck building and worker placement in a deeply thematic new strategy game where the fate of the Empire hangs on your decision. Will you seek political allies or ally upon military might, economic strength, or subtle intrigue? A council seat or a sharpened blade? The cards are dealt, the choice is yours, and the Imperium waits. 1,375 reviews at 96% positive for Dune Imperium. Next up, we have Slice and Dice. Tactical dice rolling roguelike combat. Take control of five euros each with their own unique dice. Fight your way through 20 levels of monsters and try to take on the final boss. If you lose a single fight, you have to start over, so be careful and lucky. 633 reviews, 98% positive. $8.99. A free demo is available as well, so you can check that out. That is available now. Next up, we have Toho Hero of Ice Fairy. Toho Hero of Ice Fairy is an indie game developed by Game Pulse. Step into the shoes of the Hero of Ice as she embarks on a journey against evil, liberating and saving her dear princess. High mobility fighting, move freely on the battlefield and engage in exciting Danmaku battles. Dodge waves of beautifully designed patterns, each with stunning yet lethal bullets as well. Create your own unique builds with a plethora of curious items and spell cards. Toho Hero of Ice Fairy has 1,800 reviews, 98% positive, 1.0 just dropped, so check that out. Next up, we have Minami Lane, 4.99 on this one. Overwhelmingly positive with 1,276 reviews, 98% positive. Welcome to Minami Lane. Build your own street in this tiny, cozy, casual management sim. Unlock and customize buildings, manage your shops, and maximize the happiness of your villagers to complete quest and fill your street with love. Super charming art style to this. Seems like more of a cute title. $4.99 as far as the price goes, and that is available now. Next up, we have Pesticide Not Required. 95% positive for Pesticide Not Required. Mow down countless crops and crump critters while crafting game-breaking builds. Pesticide Not Required is an action roguelike bullet heaven game with farming sim elements that offers a myriad of stats and special character traits to create wildly diverse run possibilities. Really positive reception on this, and if you like over-the-top bullet hell style games pesticide not required will be up your alley at six dollars and fifty cents and lastly we have 4d golf with a 97 percent positive reception explore higher dimensions with golf conquer mind-bending challenges design your own 4d courses and unlock new worlds and accessories as you golf your way through the fourth dimension and beyond 1999 on this one if you want to golf in 4d that's what you're gonna get with 4d golf available right now so that is gonna do it for me Links and the list of all of these games will be in the description box below. So if you want to check them out for yourself, I'm sure most of you guys aren't in the business of buying fully priced games, but add them to the wish list, wait on a sale, whatever you want to do. Outside of Ender Magnolia, which is in early access, so I doubt that's going to go on sale. In fact, it's probably going to appreciate in price as we get deeper into the early access period. So that might be something you want to check out. But before you play Magnolia, do check out Ender Lily's Quietus of Night, and that has been on sale, and I'm sure it'll be on sale in the near future as well. Right now, uh, Ender Lilies is actually more expensive than Ender Magnolia uh, if you look at the base price of $24.99. But nonetheless, you've got a free game as well in Curiosity. Check that out. A lot of other titles. Links down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video. To remedy that situation, make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out